It's about time to finally clean this motor up. There we go, there's our new balancer. Here I am screwing up your video again. Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> Guys, I did not think the turbine wheels were gonna go back on the car. I don't know, they are gonna recognize you with that hair. I did finish and I think it's pretty good. Welcome to GearHead 704. I'm Matt, and you might be wondering what in the world is happening to my SSP right here. We've got the Man Pony 1992. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you taking my car to a chop shop here? What's going on? <laughs> Here's the chop shop. Uh, but guys, uh, this is being filmed the same day that uh, Jeremy came out here and uh, Kevin was here earlier. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Basically, Kevin got a car from Fox Mustang Restoration and uh, there are ways to help him out if you guys want to help him out. But anyway, what we're doing right now is when Pony came here today, he got a he got a flat tire on his car, basically. You doing on that K-member? Here I am screwing up your video again. Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, so somebody's working on the SSP today. It's not me. Somebody. I think this is like a negative. I think we're going backwards here. Hey, shouldn't you be learning this? Uh, you, it's for <laughs> I, your I car. It's for your car. I know who you work for. You should know everything about tires. But anyway. <laughs> what happened, guys? He got a flat coming here today, so he's working on getting that off. But for you guys today, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm letting him borrow a wheel. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, what we're doing is I'm finally getting back on the SSP engine. I'm going to try to get some wrenches turned on that today. The engine's inside there gonna get as much done as we can honestly right now I don't even know what I'm planning to do today but I'm just gonna start working on it uh, the balancer I know is gonna go on and anyway let me help pony out get him on the road and then we'll start tearing into the engine see you should have stayed down there Heck no, that's how you're moving. <laughs> guys I did not think the turbine wheels were gonna go back on the car but sure enough guess you got to help a brother out well, you did help me get this car, for those, for those that you don't know. In case you're a new subscriber, you know, in case you're one of the last 2,500 since we picked up this car, Jeremy helped me pick it up. Yeah. Got to knock that off. Now, my caps. Don't mess up my special caps now. Guys, these things are pristine. I mean, look at that. Jeremy messing up my cap. Jeremy, why are you doing that? <laughs> You're gonna look good with one Cobra R going down the road, buddy. At least it's a Cobra R and it's not like, you know. You sure you don't want two of them to match? Like a prime wheel. Yeah. <laughs> going old school. All right, I gotta get this on Instagram. So I gotta fool everybody that's on Instagram. This video is gonna go up later, but I'm gonna go ahead and post this up to Instagram to fool all you guys that are following me there. If you're not following me already, Gearhead704, check it out if you want to. Why am I not wearing my sunglasses? It's bright outside. What do you guys think? SSP looks a lot better, right? What do you think, Jerry? Great. <laughs> it looks great. Oh, it's gonna be a fun one today, guys. Okay, guys, I'm still uh, trying to pull the balancer off, but I'm staring at this wheel right here because I think it looks good. Pony, I think your Cobra R wheel looks pretty good, man. My Cobra R wheel. Oh, my wheel? Yeah, no. Well, you can have all four of them for trade. <laughs> guys, for some reason, he won't trade me. He won't give me his wheels and tires for mine. I don't know why. Probably because he's got good sense. <laughs> But I also, I'm going to put this on Instagram too. Let's see how many of people pick it up. But yeah, at least you're going to get to go home. Appreciate you coming out, buddy, and uh, get home safe. Fun. Yep. If you're not subscribed to him already, check him out. He's been on the channel before, but Pony1992. Information down below, like always. Pony, have a safe trip. I got to get back to work because I haven't done anything today. <laughs> this is two videos now. So I got to get going. Let's go do it, guys. All right, so like you saw, Jeremy is finally gone and we're finally getting to work on the motor. The motor is right here. I've got to pull off this old balancer. We just had this balancer on to help us put the distributor in, in case you missed that video. That's what we covered last time. I'm gonna try and pull the uh, balancer off here. I've never done it before. Matt did it last time. Pull the balancer off and I have a new Ford Racing balancer. I will show that to you. I think it's Ford Racing, I don't know. Anyway, I will show that to you um, after I get this one off. So let me start by doing that. Okay guys, got the old balancer off. 
In case you missed why I'm changing balancers, I did cover that in a previous video. Also, if you wanna know how to actually pull this off, we also covered that in a previous video, so that's why I just jumped in there and did it. Like I said, I hadn't done it before, but I got pretty lucky. It came off pretty easy. So, what are we replacing it with? We are replacing it with this Ford. Oh yeah, they gave us a new uh, timing pointer. I'm not gonna use this because I already painted mine. I painted it black and I think it looks good. So I'm not gonna use this timing pointer that did come with it, but from Ford Racing, let's take a look at this guy. There we go, there's our new balancer. Let's actually compare and see how much better it looks. Yeah, and what's important here is, you see Matt pointed this out in the previous video, but there's like some grooves here. And he explained it much better than I did, but the crank's been walking on here a little bit. And that's not a good thing. This one's much cleaner. Obviously, it's got a good finish on it, or a machine finish, I guess. And yeah, I'm excited to put this on. It's gonna look a lot better, and it's gonna work a lot better. This is one other thing I remember. You can see, look at the rubber here. You see where the rubber is coming up? This one's all flat. Uh, there is a way to save this and repair it, but I didn't want to do that. But this is another thing that is not good. You don't want this. So, new balancer, gonna put that on. And I guess that's next. I've never put a balancer on, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on that and let's uh, let's see how that goes. I do know that I need to use dielectric grease, right? Yep. Is that right, Matt, dielectric grease? Always. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some of that on right here and then I should be able to uh, put it on. There is a keyway, I guess, I think that's what you call it. You can see that notch right there. And that is right here, it's gonna match. So that's how I know where that goes. Anyway, let's get the new balancer on. Let's see what that looks like. I got the dielectric grease on the balancer. I got the balancer all the way down. And what's happening now is the crankshaft is spinning. But this does have a torque spec. This bolt in here has a torque spec just like Basically everything does. Everything has a torque spec on this car from Ford. And for this one, we are at 80 foot pounds. So that's why you see this screwdriver here and these bolts, because if you try to turn this right now and tighten it, what's it gonna do? Well, the crank's gonna spin. Don't want that, but I do want 80 foot pounds. So Matt has hooked me up here with these bolts and this is gonna apply the leverage or the back pressure, I guess, so to speak. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that to 80 foot pounds. I've got my handy dandy torque wrench here. So let's go ahead, jump on that. I'm also going to go jump into something else and I'll explain that just in a bit. All right, balancer is all done. Good to go. And yeah, that was fun. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, it's about time to finally clean this motor up. You know, I know you guys don't like this being here. What's going to be gone today? Finally, finally. So what I got to do here, I've already kind of pre-placed some things. So I've got to block these holes off in the intake. I'm gonna use Teflon tape for that. Right here, we've got our air charge temp sensor. Also here, we've got the coolant sending unit, which is gonna tell us basically what, temp what our temperature gauge is, uh, how hot things are running. Other things we gotta plug up, obviously this hole right here, a few other things. So, oh yeah, and PCV valve. I don't have my new PCV valve system just yet. Uh, I'm gonna use the old one to seal it up. Gonna seal all that, you're gonna see all that in time lapse, there's not a lot to it, and then we're gonna clean the motor. So let me go ahead, jump on that, and uh, yeah, just enjoy the music. I'm sure you guys love YouTube music as much as I do. I know, the love is real. Okay, guys, we're getting a lot closer. I've got the uh, sensors in right here. I've also got the plugs back here, as you can see. And so all I've got to do next is I do have my fuel rails, which I cleaned up. The O-rings, a lot of people do not replace the O-rings, but it's definitely something you want to do whenever you have these off. And so I'm gonna do that. Once I've replaced the O-rings, I can connect the fuel lines. Once I get the O-rings on, I'll be able to put this bracket right here, and then you can see this is where those fuel lines will come down into. Now, I do need a uh, the correct nut. I don't have it right now to go on here. That's something I can add later, though. But I definitely, before I clean the motor, I want to plug up these fuel rails. I don't want any water or anything going in there like that or any cleaner. I'm gonna do that, but that's the, that's the last step, so cut the old O-rings off, put new ones on, put them on the motor, and then finally she's gonna be clean. We'll see how she looks. All right, guys, I've just replaced all four of my O-rings. 
on these fuel rails brand new o-rings now i'm going to put dielectric grease on these i have not done so yet but i'm going to do that before i connect them up into the uh, fuel rails that are on there right now i'm going to do that before i connect it to the injector rail but uh this is a good thing to do not a lot of people do it why not right you've already got it off go ahead and replace those o-rings so let's do that and then finally we can clean the engine It is getting late, the sun is going down, but we are finally buttoned up and ready to clean this thing. Uh, I got the fuel rails on. I did have a problem with the bracket. I said I was gonna put the bracket on, but I didn't have the bolt. Well, without the bolt, or the nut rather, it was moving all around. So I uh, did go ahead and close these guys up so I don't get any water on that end. Everything is plugged up, guys. I mean, this coolant rail here is not plugged up. I need my uh, coolant sending unit there, I believe. Uh, but yeah, that's not plugged out. Obviously, it doesn't really matter because that's just water. Got tape on here. You got plugs everywhere else that you can see. The motor is closed up and we are ready to clean it, guys. So here's the before. You see all that dirt there on the head, especially. We got a lot of grime. Come back even in here. Got some dirt. And I know it's hard with the sun, guys. You might not see it all, but... I'm gonna go ahead and start to clean it and I will show you guys the after. For the after, we'll get back inside where you can see it a little easier. That bird's going crazy over there. So let me go ahead and get start cleaning. Finally, we're getting there, finally. All right, guys, as you can see, it got dark on me. Yes, yeah, so I ran out of light, but I did finish and I think it's pretty good. Is it perfect? It's not perfect. But if you can remember how black that looked and how it looks now, I just think it's, that's a lot better. So yeah, there we go. All clean now. We got rid of the gunk for you guys. You guys that mentioned that, you can actually read the Trick Flow logo. Check that out. You can actually read it now. Pretty cool uh, water pump cleaned up a lot better. I still got, you know, I got a little bit of things here and there, but I think it's gonna look pretty good and you're gonna have to look pretty hard to notice it still has problems. So I did do the front and the back, cleaned it all up. It's still drying right now, obviously, but let's look at the back here. Yeah, even the back looks pretty good. So motor is finally cleaned up. What do we have next? Well, I've got to put on the motor mounts. I've still got to put on the upper intake, my accessories, but we are pretty close. Uh, also, the big thing left is the rear main seal. We got the dogs here. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Got two of them. But yeah, I got the rear main seals. The other big thing left I got to do. Once that's on, it should just be another day or two for me to have everything assembled and then moving on to the transmission. Got to see if that transmission is good, guys. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, in case you're wondering about cream, it is still here. They haven't been able to pick it up yet, but the car is still sold, just in case you're wondering about that. All right, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, you know, we got a little bit done. Hopefully, uh, Pony1992 made it home safe. Actually, I know he did. He went ahead and called me, and he is safe there. He had the flat tire, as you knew, and uh, he's good to go now. But I do need my wheel back, Pony, in case you're watching. Take good care of that Cobra R, because I need it back. <laughs> the turbines are not working on the SSP. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. And we'll see you next time on Gearhead 704. Guys, I know the video is over. I already ended the video, but guess who we have? We have a special guest on here today. You may have seen her in the thumbnail, so. Look who it is. It's Tiffany. I don't know. They're going to recognize you with that hair. <laughs> I was just playing, having some fun. Yeah, check this out, guys. New hairdo. <laughs> it's actually new for me i had no idea this first time i'm seeing it i'm like who are you you're not my wife anyway she did show up here at the end of the day uh didn't get to turn any wrenches today didn't. maybe the next video though yeah maybe the next one so uh, i did just clean the motor i was oh, telling them see. yeah it's i see what do you that think? it's it looks wow 
Can you tell? Tell the difference? I can. It's All right. nice and clean. All right, cool. All right, she did show up. I clickbaited you guys. Sorry about that, but she is here. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. I got my air charge temp simp temp bleh. I got my air charge temp simp temp temp temperature simp temperature shrimp temperature. This is my shrimp temperature. temperature. Yeah, this is for your shrimp. You boil them and everything. No, I've also got my air charge temp temp temperature. Why the hell? <laughs> Me. Temp sensor. Temp sensor. Mother.